What's up guys, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Starfish Reviews, which is an easy platform for WordPress that's going to let you ask people for reviews in a fun and easy way. Now what is this going to help you with? Well, let's just say you have low reviews or no reviews on your sites like Google, Facebook and other sites that are really popular. So what you want to do is get your clients, customers or visitors to actually rate you. So you have the option to create a funnel in this really easy and really fast. But I'm going to show you how easy this is. So Starfish Reviews, uh, the link will be in the description. I'm going to leave it there with a coupon just in case you guys want to grab it. Now, what is Starfish Review? So the first thing you have to do is head on over to plugins and add a brand new plugin. So let's see right here, Starfish Reviews. In this case, I'm using the premium package. So that is what I have installed. And once you have it installed, you can head on over to settings. Let's click right here on settings or on the left right here. And this is what you're going to be greeted with. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you it's really fast and super easy to set up. So the first thing you want to do is set the funnel slug. The slug would be this link right here. This is where it starts with. So you can see this is my uh, website right here for a client. It's Kepler.mx and the slug is review. So maybe you want to say reviews, uh, ratings, um, opinions, or whatever you want to use as a slug, you can put it there. Also, you can turn off branding for funnel pages or leave it on. You can remove or edit this affiliate URL. Clean on the activation if you want to install it. Also, the email. By default, it's going to grab the email that you have for the admin of this page that it's installed in. But if you want to change that, you can do this right here so people know where to email you with. From email, like you see right here, it's, it's grabbing the admin email. Email subject, message template, feedback email. And the reason I'm showing you this also is because I want to show you that you can customize a message and what it says. So basically, you can even translate it from here. So you got feedback, thank you message. So that's what it's going to say. You got feedback prompt, the submit button. So you can see right here, submit button text on. And you can see this as send feedback. So like I said, you can change this if you want. Submit review or you can say submit your opinion or whatever sounds nicer to you. You can do that. Yes or no questions, public review text, um, yes to re redirect seconds if you wanted to wait, uh, skip feedback if you want to do that, you can do this right here. All right, so what do you got to do once you set this up? Well, we got to create a funnel. So in this case, we're going to go to all funnels right here. And we are going to add a brand new one. So let's do a brand new one right here. And this will be called, I'm going to say reviews right there. Oops, slider, I'll just try to get that down. Let me remove this. It's a slider revolution, so it has nothing to do with this. All right, so once we're here, we can see yes or no questions. So would you recommend site name? So what it's telling you is um, do this sentence right here in a, in a way that it's a yes and no question. So in this case, would you recommend this site? In this case, would you recommend that the service that we gave you yesterday? Let's just say if you're sending this the next day. By auto default, you can do that, all right? So let's just say, it, would you recommend this service from us, right? And you got answer button style. So you got the thumbs up, th thumbs down. You got solid thumbs, faces, and symbol and circles. I'm going to show you that in a bit, how that looks. So let's, well, we know how that one looks. So let's just choose faces, all right? Next thing we have is review prompt. So if someone does a positive, so in this case, if they do a thumbs up, this is a message that they're going to get. So this positive response. So you say, hey, excellent. Rate us five stars. Now you can create a funnel to make them go to specific page to rate you if you wish. And that would be down here. So number of destinations in this case is do multiple. So review destination. So once they say, yes, this is positive, you invite them to actually do a review. So that's pretty cool because you know that these guys are already thinking positive. So that's a plus thing. So in this case, we'll just do this right here, right? Let's just say, whoops, Google, All right? Let's put this right here and auto redirect in seconds. So if they don't click on, yes, I want to leave a review, you can auto redirect them if you want. So just say 10 seconds, right? And submit button would be submit review. You can change that if you like. Now, if they do a negative response, so if they say no, thumbs down, like the, your service was bad, you have another type of message. So we're sorry you didn't meet, we didn't meet your expect, expectation. 
how can we do better in the future? So you're inviting them to tell you what's going on, right? You can ask for additional uh, fields like name, email, and phone. Email feedback, so where is this going to? Submit button, so it's going to say send feedback. And if they submit it, you get thank you for your feedback. We'll review it and work to improve, right? Now, heads up, recommendation to anyone who wants to activate this or not. The correct thing, for example, with some sites is that they don't like you to only invite them to do a review on a specific site only if they're positive. So if you take this on, it'll ask them also if they want to leave a review. Like I said, this is a recommendation. This is up to you if you want to do it. But the correct thing is to put this on. Now I'm going to show you how that looks. I'm going to leave it off for now because I want to show you how that looks. So basically, pretty straightforward setup. Let's do publish. All right, let's wait for that to publish. And this is the link. So I said reviews. So we got the slug, which is review, and I called it reviews, which does, which sounds redundant, but this is just an example. All right. And once I updated, the face is updated. So this is how it's going to look. Also, what updated is, remember, I, I, I set it to multiple. So now it's updated here. And I have the option to select what type of social medias I want them to invite and leave a review. So you got Google, Facebook, Yelp, TripAdvisor, Amazon, and whole bunch of other ones but let's just say hey you know what Facebook right um, color for Facebook if I set the color right here now I'm using the HTML hex you can just search for Google and you'll find the hex uh, HTML finder for the color code and just put it there also for background the name of this would be Facebook and the URL obviously uh, put the URL of your fan page or if you know the direct link to actually get where the review is set then you do that right if you want to add another one, you click plus. So let's just set the icon for this trip advisor, no color, just trip advisor. And we'll just put the same URL just for this purpose, right? All right. So let's update it again. And let's head on over to the site. Let's go to the site. This is the link that was created for this purpose. And what you are going to see right here is you can see some reviews and reviews. So this link, could be said, for example, if you're sending out emails or if you have an email list for the people who have visited you, visited you, then this would be helpful. And all you, like I said, it's really easy and you have the link. So what happens if I'm a po I'm positive, right? So I recommend it. Let's say yes. Excellent. Rate us five stars and leave us a helpful review. So this invites me to actually go even further and review them. So it's not just about the plus, which is like the fundamental thing but we can also invite them to the reviews so if i click on facebook it's going to take me to facebook because that's the link i put let's go back now that we're back it's refreshed so what's going to happen if i do a negative review so let's just say no i'm not happy right so it invites me to leave my own review so i asked for i asked for these fields we can remove them if we want and this is the way that you know what you're doing wrong. So if a client's not happy, you actually get that information, which is the most important part, right? If you're not doing right, then fix it. So know what people are thinking about you. All right, let's refresh it one more time. Let's do this. But this time we're gonna take this little option that I told you, disable review gating. So this is called gating when you don't give them that option. So you get now you give them the option if they're not happy also. So you can change it, skip feedback text, skip this feedback and leave a public review or public review text, leave a public review. So you can change these also to your liking or something a little bit more subtle. All right, let's click on update. OK, that's updated. Let's refresh over here. And now we're going to say we are not happy. OK, let's click on the little happy and you can see it's almost the same, but guess what? Now they have the option to skip this feedback and leave a public review. So in this, when you do this, you stop being like a bad person because you're not gating. So when you gate, that means that you don't give them the option to, to do a public review. So this is up to you. You shouldn't do it, but I've seen many people do it. I've done it in some occasions for some companies when they i tell them hey you know what this could happen and do you want to do it and they say yes all right then i do it so i remove this and i've haven't i haven't had any problems 
But like I said, this is something that you have to do if you don't want to be uh, doing something wrong with these pages. And let's just change symbol circles. You can see right here how that will look positive and negative. In my case, I like the faces and the thumbs up and thumbs down. Now, what I really want to show you is even though we're talking about this and we took a little bit of time, did you see how easy that was to actually set this up? You can even do this as a business to offer companies the option to do this and you just tell them, hey, this is the link, it's ready, um, distribute it in, in any way that you want. Are you going to give like a physical paper when they sign a, a contract so you give them that link? Are you sending out emails that you want them to rate you? You have a lot of options to advertise this. And once that's all done and you start working on it, you have reports. So let's go to reports and you can see some basic reports right here. So you can see feedback, positive, negative. You can see destinations, how many links were clicked for this one, so how many for the others. So once you get the correct link, so for example, if you're going to send them to Google Maps and you have the right link, you send them to over there. And you can see filters by month all funnels, tests, reviews, and all that good stuff. So once you have already your funnels done and ready to go, it's easy and straightforward as just like sending out your link. Easy as that. Just distribute the link and start getting those feedbacks. Trust me, this will help you get more reviews because people, you're giving them that, the option to, hey, go ahead and over. If you're happy, help us out, man. Do a review. So there you go, guys. This is Starfish Reviews. Easy, straightforward WordPress plugin that's going to be set up in less than 10 minutes and ready to go. All right, guys, I got. I hope you guys like this video. My name is George. This is SaaS Master. And if you guys found, found it helpful, remember, the link will be in the description. Yep. And don't forget to follow my social media accounts, my Facebook group, my Facebook fan page, and my website. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.